In this lesson, we are going to use shared preferences to test whether an application has been run for the first time. Let's have our method. So I'll say public welcome. So I want to say welcome. Welcome new user. So when I run this application, it will say welcome. The only thing is that I don't want it to say welcome each time I run the app. I just want it to run the first time. So I want to have sort of like a simple storage to know whether this app was run before. So I'm going to use shared preferences. So when we run the application, you see welcome new user. But now I want to use shared preferences to check if this application has been run before. First, we get the shared preferences. So I'm going to show you the two methods. Firstly, let's try getting the shared preference by specifying a specific preference file. So this is how we're going to get our shared preferences. We say get shared preferences. We specify the name of the file that we want to get. Now, if it happens that the file does not exist, it's going to create that file. For example, this is a fresh app and I'm sure there's no shared preference file called Cyberry App Setting. So it's going to create it. And then context mode private. This is what you would use by default. If we decide to check the meaning, the created file will only be accessed by the calling application. So other applications that don't have the same ID can not call it. Now we want to get a value from that file. So we would say shared preferences dot get string. So I can call that string first run. And uh, it's true. So what is this doing? You can see string check. What this is doing is saying, get me the value of the key first run. Now, remember, we also don't have this key. So for the first time, it's actually returned the default value. So what is this saying? Get me the key first run. If it hasn't been created before, create it now and then return the value true. So if it happens to be true, we can go back and change it to false so that the next time we check it, it will be false. So what's going on here? I got the preference file. On the preference file, I'm getting the key first run. If this was not created, it will create it and then return the default value. So by default, it is true because that should be the first run. Now, if it's true, I should say welcome. But as I'm saying welcome, I should go back to the shared preference Get the editor from the shared preference by saying shared preferences dot edit. That returns back the editor. So I can use the editor to put a string. I specify the key, which is first run, and the new value, which is false. So that means the next time it's going to check first run, it's going to return false. Then after that, I apply. This will write the values to the storage in the background process. If I run it the next time and the value is not true, instead of saying welcome new user, we would say welcome back. Because I have not run this code before, it would actually show welcome new user because it will create this file, it will create this key, but once I run it again, say welcome back. So let's try this. Let's make this 
length long. So you can see welcome new user. Let's run it again. Welcome back. So no matter the amount of times I run it, it will keep saying welcome back. So if you didn't want to specify a particular file name, you could get the default shared preference file for this activity. So instead of doing this, you will do this. So you don't specify a file. Now, if I run this, after just changing that, you will notice it wrote welcome new user. Why? Because now I'm working with a different file, the default file for the main activity. I remember that file didn't have this key. So once I changed it, it had to create the key afresh and use the default value. So when I run it again, can see welcome back. So now the default shared preference file for this activity has this key to false. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on shared preferences.